Guys, we've got the rotator in tip-top shape, got a brand new clutch, flywheel, EGR cooler, a lot of kind of boring stuff installed. But today we've got around three or four trucks that we need to move to Jamestown. We're not gonna be moving them today, but we're gonna be picking them up with the rotator, getting them situated. Some of them don't have tires and wheels on them. Some of them don't have front axle in them, but we need to get them staged and ready to go so that whenever we get back from the Florida Tow Show this Friday and uh, picking up two Peterbilt 379s I bought in Florida tomorrow, next Monday we'll be hauling a lot of stuff, including the rotator over to Jamestown. So let's hop in this thing and uh, start getting some learning. We're gonna be attending tow school very soon. A lot of you want to know what's going on with the rotator. Um, myself, Robert, and another fellow are gonna be attending the tow school and then we're gonna probably be bringing someone on to run the truck just because I don't have any experience running one of these and we really wanna put someone that knows what they're doing in the truck. So, but it doesn't mean we've got the tool, we can't mess with it here on the yard with some trucks that weigh, you know, 10 to 12,000 pounds. So let's go see what we can get into. Well guys, first things first, we're gonna get these outriggers put down just so we have a little bit of support back here. What we're gonna be doing is dragging a truck out of the row, sitting right there, and uh, getting it pulled out here so we can then hook to the front of it and drag it up to the road. Yes, we could be doing all this with a telehandler much easier and faster, but I need to get familiarized with some of the controls on this. So when I do go to tow school, I'm not just a big dummy that has no idea what I'm doing. So, yes, you heard that right. So. <laughs> got a lot to figure out the remote box right here is currently not charged up or needs batteries or something like that so we're gonna be doing everything with the handheld controls for right now so got to figure all that out too this is kind of exciting ain't it I forgot Ryan doesn't have a mic on today. Some of our mics are dead right now. This thing cranks too, boy. All right, let's put the front outriggers down. There we go. We got all of our outriggers down. Probably not exactly where they need to be. Keep in mind, guys, like I said, we're still learning. I can't emphasize that enough. The truck we're messing with here is one that we own here at FCR. So we're gonna be taking to the new location in Jamestown and stripping down for parts. So let's continue to get this boom extended out and get these uh, cables down hooked to the front of it. <laughs> We're figuring it out. All right, let's pick this thing up. We'll get these blocks of wood out of it. And then uh, let's see about pulling it out here into the row. We're going to need these blocks of wood, I guess, to set it back on top of. So. It's crazy, like picking this thing up, it didn't even notice it, like nothing, there's no, like, I guess it really isn't that heavy when this thing is a 50 ton rotator. Um, also something guys, your camera's gonna be a little funny cause we're in the middle of um, like trying not to expose other companies around here. So we gotta be careful um, with like how we're filming and stuff, so. All right, so we're gonna set this thing down on some blocks here. Oh, we thought, <laughs> we thought. It 
and uh, re-position uh, the, the rotator here. Think it'll sit right there, Ryan, safely? Maybe, maybe not. Now we're gonna do is pull all these outriggers in and uh, pull the truck up a little bit and then reposition. I think we, oh, it may not extend out that far, you know what? I don't think it will, we can try. Bring this boom back down. It's just like a giant, expensive, not a toy. But the best way I found to learn things is to uh, just kind of get at it. So we've got a couple sheets here to tell us how much weight we can pick up, depending on how far it's extended out. Something I do want to say is thank you to everyone that's given us like all of the support and offered for all the help. We do plan on calling on pretty much everyone that offered help on running this thing. Um, we're actually going down to Steps Towing. I bought a couple of semis from them and they're gonna use their rotator to pick them up, put them on our trailer tomorrow. Um, so that's super exciting. I'm gonna get to see them run the rotator and how they rig them and all that stuff. So super excited about that. Um, but someone did say like most like when you see these big cranes operating, they'll say, hey, it's too much weight, There's, you shouldn't be doing this. This thing right here will do that to an extent, but it, you can hurt this thing and you can hurt yourself obviously really quick. So thankfully we're on our own property learning. All right, so right there, we should be able to get our stinger down. And what we're gonna do is put the stinger right underneath the front of that thing, and then we can pull it around the yard and park it where we want it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, possibly in a second. Gotta get these parts put on our stinger. These are what hold everything. Real, real. Usually you would put all this on the back of the truck sometimes, but today they're going on the front. Safety pin back in here. So it ain't sliding out. It's the last thing we want, right? Leave those unlocked. Put that right there. We'll get the other one put in here. Definitely need gloves next time. This one's missing a locking pin there, so we have to look into that. I'm sure by someone's standard, we're putting these on backwards too. So that's something else we need to be conscientious of. Probably. I am super excited about going to the tow show though. Like really excited. And getting to see where and how all this stuff operates. All right guys, so I'm thinking what we're gonna do is take and put these right back here and that should hold them up pretty good there. So one right there, one right there. Yeah, well we'll use a chain and run over the top of them. 
I think we definitely have those maybe wrong. I'm not sure. Like I said, we're not going down the road with any of this yet, so don't don't get too crazy on me, guys. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do now is take our crane and set it right in this home, very carefully. How are we looking? I think we're cherry, just about, right? Boom, there we go. Look at that, Sonny. There's Sonny boy. Back up now. Let's not get too too safe around this yet. We're still a little wet behind the ears. All right, these can go back up here once I boom them out some. To go to the other side. <sighs> boom. All right, now let's put the boom away and then we'll finish securing the truck on the stinger. So now we're going to do is let this thing pretty much as low to the ground as possible, but where it's not going to drag because we've got to pull it down the road and that rear end is still dragging. We may have to let it like way down. And then um, once we get it moved somewhere where we want it to be, we'll be able to do something different with it. So now that we're operating on just the stinger, the truck doesn't have to be, I'm assuming, on the uh, outriggers now. So we get all the outriggers picked up, pulled back in, and we'll go move this thing somewhere where we want it to be. So this is a day cab, obviously a day cab truck. Um, it looks like the trailer might have caught on fire and it led to a lot of stuff up here. So we definitely got in, this rear end is definitely probably shot, got way too hot. This one may be good, but there's still a lot of good usable parts like the braking assemblies, things like that. It does have a good engine in it too. It is an international with a Navistar A26, but the engine looks like it's in great shape. We did just win the bid on another truck. Uh, so we're gonna be hauling it out of here, taking it up to Jamestown, and you'll see that truck in just a second. All right, people, we're gonna get this thing. Well, the problem is we're gonna have one of our other tow trucks take it over to Jamestown where the new shop is at, but we need to get it set up so that they can just hook up to it and go. So we don't wanna block it right here. Where if we can't get it unhooked, then they definitely can't get it unhooked. So that's something we have to think about. Woo, it's way fast. This remote makes things go a little too fast. We're gonna be careful with this thing. Yeah. 
way fast. How are your blocks looking over there, home skilly dilly? Think you're good? Are you sure? Now's our only problem, we can't get the lift out of it. Really? All right, we'll pick it back up then. Hmm. Does that block even got weight on it? Yeah, it's, it's on there. Check it. Kick it, give it a good kick. Give it a good kick, old son. You sure? All right. All right, looks like we might be able to get our, maybe get our boom out sideways, I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Or we might be able to put some smaller blocks in it. Let's try to get these blocks out for now. We just gotta watch out for that oil pan. It'll pick up on it, I'm not worried about that. Because guess what, if it falls... Then you gotta restart. Then you gotta restart. And this is like a test, a practice test. All right, let's move our blocks back here where we had them before. Uh-oh. That was a close one. <laughs> Up we go again. I gotta find a safe place for these blocks, dude. This ain't easy. I guess if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? People are probably laughing and laughing at us in the comments right now, our struggles. We'll figure it out. Now pull the truck forward, you big dummy. No. Yeah, but... It's good right there, son. It's good. That was a lot. Ta-da! Put your pin back in there. We have successfully moved one truck. It took us one hour. Just kidding. It was like 10 minutes altogether. Uh, no. All right, we've got another truck right here. We bought an international. Uh, it's got a good A26 engine in it. Uh, she's in quite a bit of a bad wreck here. As you can see, the front axle is not front axle and where it's supposed to be. Emission system depleted. Axles, probably not in the greatest shape, but it does have a good engine, a good transmission. There's a lot of good parts on the truck. So, we're going to get it put over there. The one we just put the glass one is like the staging area for uh, um, where we want to get all these trucks lined up for our guys to start moving to Jamestown. So that's what we're going to do with this one is move it over there. So now we gotta be careful not to mess up the oil pan because this one it does have a good oil pan still. It should start and run. That's all it goes, Sonny. There's Sonny Boy. So 
So I think these right here will be a better fit for what we were trying to do, honestly. Ah, we're gonna need longer ones. We're gonna need longer of these yellow things. Hand me the yellow one from that side. I may have to back up a little bit. You know what? Screw it. That'd be good right there. There you go. Let's back up. Let's back up a little bit. We need to keep our lines nice and straight here. What? Well, there is like on or off. There is no like. What? You want to see how this works? Look. So you, when you hit this button, watch these levers. So when you normally control it real easy or real slow, it's like on or off. So something to think about. Let me back up some. All right, take your block of wood, sir. And let's uh, we'll put it underneath this tire over here because that's how it was when we found it. <laughs> All right, there. Tilt down. All right, let's pull our blocks out of here. Looks pretty stable before I go climbing underneath it, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. I think we're good. Dude, you did a lot better that go around. Way faster. I'm a better instructor. Yeah, definitely. everything back in its home we need to take and pick the lift up get it off the ground fold up so as you guys can see the truck has one spreader bar and some old straps that are like tattered they're in really bad shape um, and that's something we don't want to get on the road and use and have someone's truck lifted up and be using that so there goes the lake on the forklift so uh, right now we're up in the shop servicing all the equipment around here. But a lot of the stuff, like I said, I'm not very familiar with any of it or what it does or anything. It looks like this right here is another peg of some kind for I'm sure some kind of certain lift. But I'm hoping that when we go to the tow school and just trying to be observant and team up with other companies like Steps Towing in Florida we're going to see, I'll get to see how they use all these things and start just gaining some knowledge. We're going to need a few thousand hours of knowledge where I get very proficient in this. That's why we want to bring someone on board eventually. But for now, we're going to figure it out. Looks like this is a another bar that can be put on the back for towing a trailer. There's another one on the other side for towing a fifth wheel. And all these different lift types, I guess, for like lifting like rear axles, stuff for like lifting front axles, leaf springs, like what you just seen us use. There's lots of empty spots in here too. You see all kinds of things that are not in here. Um, there's some chains and stuff on the other side that we really just need a lot of new stuff. Something else, I don't know if we, did we say them on video or not, but we did put eight brand new drive tires on it. We just want to make sure they are going to be in tip top shape. Um, there's still some other little cosmetic things I'd like to do to the truck. 
like what we talked about when I chipped out some of this Bondo, we plan on painting that and getting it nice. But for now, we're gonna be using it around here, moving stuff and getting used to it. You may think what a waste of a big machine, but for us just to learn, so we're gonna have to get into doing. So we need to go find a place to park this bird out of the way and let's walk around. There's a couple more trucks that are ours that I wanna go see and put hands on. So let's go do that. So you guys remember the other day when we moved all the other axles, we still have all of these to get loaded up that have good brake chambers or really brake chambers, I don't know if someone would reuse, but good uh, disc brake parts, all kinds of good stuff and miscellaneous things like hubs on them are still good. There's a lot of stuff that is junk, but a lot of it's still good. So we've got to get all of these moved to Jamestown and the guys have slowly been adding to them. You see one of the telehandlers we bought that got snatched up and got used. So, but the guy's been putting it to crazy work right here. So there's a truck sitting over here we're gonna go find that we own and see what all is left on it that's good. And it's gonna get moved to Jamestown soon also. So right here is another beautiful international truck that's an older unit because it's got drum brake axles and almost everything on the road nowadays has disc brakes. But uh, see what, what year is this thing? The door doesn't wanna open very well either. It's a 2019 with a 10 speed, dude, this thing got a manual in it. Not very often you're seeing manual transmissions and anything. Well, there actually are zero trucks around here with manuals in them still. But it may have some good parts. There might be good uh, fuel tank there. Let's see the engine. Oh, dude. That engine's mint. Looks like somebody robbed some parts off of it. Oh, it's got those new uh, pistons that hold water for you. Looks like it's got some kind of a computer right here or something. I don't know what, maybe you guys comment down below what model Cummins this is, because it's obviously a Cummins, but. <laughs> Orange with rust, because it's a Hemi. But uh, I talked to Eric, a guy that does the yard maintenance here. He's gonna get some tires thrown in the front of it for us. And uh, next week, we'll see about getting this thing picked up and moved to, uh, yep. We'll get some tires and wheels put on it and picked up and moved over to, uh, so yeah, it looks like she got two good fuel tanks on her, maybe, if it did get set on the ground. I think the guys here bought it, sold the tires and wheels off of it, and they set it on the ground. But it's got some kind of a idle reduction system. What the heck is that? Maybe it's like an APU built into the side of the truck. Oh, it might be an electric APU. It's probably more batteries, battery pack right there, too. Hmm. Well, this is another one we got to get moved. I think there's a cab up the hill. Let's go see if we can find it. A lot of guys have been asking about where the white Scania is. Here it is, we'll be moving it also. <sighs> Hopefully the wind noise ain't too bad. It shouldn't, shouldn't be. <laughs> Hiding the mic. Uh, the white Scania, we don't know what we're gonna do with it. We're still waiting on some engine parts to rebuild the engine that was in it and who knows what I'm gonna do with it at that point. But with us moving everything to Jamestown, we walked up this hill and I'm out of breath. So anyways, Get everything set up in Jamestown and start parting these trucks out while we're waiting to go to tow school and learning how to use the rotator and things like that. So, anyways, that's the update on the white scan. Yeah, we're moving it soon. Well, guys, I made it back home. Amber and I and the kids are getting ready to head out to Florida. My brother Aaron's already went down there with the semi truck and trailer. Hope you all enjoyed today's video and us touching in on messing with the rotator for really the first time, like actually using the boom and stuff to move a truck around. I have lots of more learning to do. I don't know denying that and i look forward to all the emails everyone's outpour of support on us learning how to use the rotator i know it's not a toy it's a big dangerous machine if you don't know what you're doing and i truly understand that i'm just looking to learn and it's a new adventure for me because there's i'm not being cocky when i say there's not much i haven't figured out how to run or drive but this is something that i truly have never and have no experience in i'm looking to get into this and i'm ready to uh just have at it and us get this towing thing off the ground in the next few months so Comment down below, guys, if you have any advice for us or see anything I might have done wrong. I would love to take note of that. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, we'll see you in a couple days when we're down at Steps Towing and getting to see their rotator in action. See you later. Peace.